The Brave Little Tailor by Neela Dole Zalava, based on the story by the Brothers Grimm. Are you okay? I thought I heard a noise. I'm fine. It's very late to be working. So, my deadline's tomorrow, and at the moment there isn't a dress for the show. There'll be naked models walking down that catwalk. And will they pay you this time? Pay? I'm an intern, Mum. Money's a mythical creature few have seen. Well, listen out for such unicorns. Someone must notice your talents soon. I can't keep you like this forever. Maybe I'm just not made for this. Not everyone can make it. You know, it's hard to believe you're mine. Great. I thought I'd instilled some tenacity in you, and yet you... Bedtime stories aren't real life, Mum. I made you into a hero every night. And every morning I woke up. I need to unpick all of this. Ugh! I brought your toast. Thanks. With jam. You fattening me up? You're the seamstress, not the mannequin. I'll eat it later. Sometimes I think you'd live later if you had the chance. Jam's expensive these days. I wasn't being ungrateful. It's okay. <laughs> what is this? Just flies. Where are they coming from? They smell fear. Jam. Oh, please, they smell jam. 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 Jesus, jam. get jam. off. Jam. jam. It's my jam. jam. <laughs> wow, you're quite a girl. You killed seven. You killed seven? With one blow. Obama only killed one. My dress is now a killer dress. That's it. What? The dress for the show. I'll call it the seven with one blow dress. Designed to stop hearts. Bring men to their knees. It's perfect. Bind the bobbin up. Bind the bobbin up. Pull, pull. Bind the bobbin up. Bind the bobbin up. Pull, pull. What do you think? Try it on. I'm too tired. Put it on. Then I'll tell you a story. For old time's sake. What kind of story? A tailor made one for a night like this. <sighs> too tight. It needs a belt. I'll embroider a silken belt with the words seven with one blow. What do you think? My, my. Well, you can't sleep now. Not in a dress like that. Such a creation. Must see the world and the world see it. I think you should leave. Leave? Where to? Wherever the dress takes you. Think how many others have done what you've done. Seven with one blow. It sets you apart. A cut above the rest. They were flies, Mum, not fellas. Small difference. Fine, I'll go. But make this a short story. I'm tired. You need some things for the road. There isn't much left. Take this last piece of cheese for your pocket. And this. A canary. So that you're not entirely alone. Alone? Mum, don't do this. It's about time you went out. I swear this room gets smaller every day. Mum, wait! Once upon a time... Don't go! There was a tailor. I just want to go to sleep. Sleep? Who's that? Can't see me, little 
critter. Oh, a giant. I shouldn't have expected anything less. Thought those legs were trees. How are you? I'm just a tailor off to try my luck in the world. Want to join me? Hungry. Yeah? Been a long day? Brutish. Short. Right. Like treats. Tailors. Chewy. Plump. Like fatty tailors. Whoa there, mister. You want to eat me? More. Swallow hell. Couldn't you do with a companion for the road? Prefer protein. Now, just you wait a minute. Do you know who I am? Can't you read? Seven with one blow. What? Candles? <laughs> you ever seen a candle eat jam? Drink and shit like the rest of us? Candles? Sure. All snuffed out now. Sweet Taylor, if you so strong, beat this. What on earth was that? Blood squeezed from stone. And you had to make all that noise. See this here yellow stone from my pocket? Watch as from it I squeeze oil. Mm Mm-hmm. But bet you can't throw as far as me. I swear I just heard that land somewhere. Surely a giant as strong as you should be able to put something into orbit. Here, sweet bird. When I set you free, fly silently into the sky and never come back. Watch, I turn stones into comets. Balls. Yeah, I can do them too. Crush them or send them into space. Got any? Still think I'm worth more to you dead? Still look tasty. Can you carry a felled tree? Mm, Sure. How about you take that end and I'll bring up the rear? You okay back there? If only you could see me. One hand. Oh, but don't turn round. You'll strain your neck. Stupid fool, I'll let you carry me all the way out of this wretched forest. Listen, little tailor. If you're so brave, come stay with giants. Small cave, big bed. I suppose I am so very sleepy. This bed, yours. This bed, not yours. Thanks. Me get deader. Wait, Mr. Giant, this bed is too... This bed is too big. I'm only little. I'll just curl up here instead. What's that? Snoring? In my house? Oh, how could I forget? Magic fingers and twinkle toes asleep in my cave. Little grasshopper. Little spaceman. Think you strong. How strong. (laughs) Little dead grasshopper. Smashed! Grasshopper, now see how far you can throw. (laughs) (laughs) How strange. Am 
must have fallen asleep. And what's this? Splintered wood? Feathers? Jeez, glad I didn't sleep in my bed. Perhaps lightning hit it. Perhaps... Wait, where am I? <gasps> I thought you were dead. I thought you were make-believe. Squeezes, throws, carries trees and now returns from death. Not natural. Everybody, leave this devil! <laughs> and so the tailor lived another day, dusted down his dress, tightened his laces and marched on. And on. And on. Until tiredness came once more and hung round his neck like a medieval punishment. I just need sleep. Can we stop now? What? Halfway? You know, I think I'll just sleep here in this courtyard. The leaves are softer than that cave. And look, a mansion. How charmed am I to just be able to lie here, stargazing under the watchful eye of the kingdom? Hmm, it's very cosy. And so quiet. I'm sure nobody will mind if I just... Lantern, lantern, sun, moon and stars Burn my light, burn my light But not my dear lantern Stop! Look! Yonder! What is it? It's a pile of rags What, no uh, limbs? Limbs? Ah, limbs, like uh, arms, legs Oh, none of that But there is a head is it? What kind of head? Spherical. Oh, for heaven's sake. What? Well, it's a human being. Like I said. Shut wreck it. Maybe it's dead. You don't dress like that for death, no. That's the most intricate singlet I've ever seen. That's haute couture, that. Bless you. What? Seven with my blood. Oh, see, it's alive. Hey, hey, let's roll it over. You ready? Right. <coughs> <coughs> Well, I never. Seven with one blow. This is no ordinary trespass in hoodlum. This is a warrior. Those aren't thimbles. They're finger armour. Well, I don't think I fancy being the first thing this one sees when he wakes. No. No, but I know a wood. The king. Aye. A warrior in my back garden in peacetime. Well, I'll be damned for my good fortune. Stock your larder when times are good, so they say. When will the gods stop showering me with such earthly treasure? I seem to bet on the winning horse every time these days. Courtier, go stand by this warrior until he wakes. Once you are certain that the warrior is lucid... Offer a top military position and lodgings in my best quarters. Let it be known that no expense should be spared. This warrior is ours. Of course, sir. We'll tell him straight away. All in exchange for my skills. A place of my own and food. All inclusive. Why, yes, please. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So the tailor settled and the king felt secure. But soon the good luck the king had stumbled upon started to sour. Who's there? Come in. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Soldiers, I have not summoned you. What is your trouble? Eh, uh, sir, we, uh, we can't do this anymore. We've made the joint decision to ask you kindly to discharge us. Discharge? On what account? Uh, jealousy, sir. And fear. Aye. I mean, it may sound strange coming from trained men of war. Men who have created and observed hell. But how on earth do you expect us to live with a warrior who can kill seven with one blow? One slight argument, sir, and we fear seven of us will die. I mean... We cannot ask you to dismiss the warrior, for this may put you at risk. I mean, and no one's seen the warrior's wrath yet, and nor do we wish to, but we can ask you to set us free. 
This is a predicament I should have foreseen. I put my greed for one warrior before the safety of many trusted friends. We were all seduced, sir. I mean, each one of us is to blame. This will not do. The warrior must die. My dear faithful, send the warrior this challenge. In the woods are two giants robbing, murdering, ravaging and burning all they set their gluttonous eyes upon. If the warrior can kill those two vile beasts, the reward is half my kingdom for dowry and all of my daughter for a bride. Such a reward should be ample to tempt any man to his death. To my death? Why is this, Mum? You want rid of me? It's a story. Keep going. Then give me a chance. Give the warrior 100 knights to ease the burden. Fine, but keep your knights. You underestimate me. Owning your daughter sounds like a fitting prize. Men, lead me to the forest. I'll see what beasts await me there. The edge of the forest. I see. It's day out here, but night in there. Aye. They call it the place the sun forgot. Do they? Men, stay here. All of you. No need to risk your lives on such a petty quest. I'll go alone. If only my eyes could just adjust to this ominous light. Where's a candle when you need one? Ah, I see them. Two magnificent heaving barrels. Sleeping. What luck. While they dream, I have a chance. Here, stones of the forest come into my pocket. Weigh me down while the branches of this tree hold me up. Funny, from up here, giants don't look so big. Here we go, one for you. Nick? What? Don't hit me. I didn't, go back to sleep. And one for you. David? What? So now you hit me. Oh, Nick, stop dreaming. Mm, fine. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Right, that does it. Divide and rule. Oh, the audacity of it. While I'm sleeping. When I trusted you. Backstabbing. You opportunistic. Egotist. While I... At least they pulled some trees down, let in some light, a few stabs just to check they're dead, some trophy blood on my sword. Knights! The forest is now safe. Make it to your playground. No giants? Come see for yourself. And with the bloody sword and battered bodies imprinted on their minds, the knights went back to the king. The giants, sir. Tell me, friend, did they rob him blind? I'm afraid not, sir. Murder him? I, no. Ravage, at least. No. Burn? Sir, the giants were swimming. Swimming? In their own blood. Right, yeah. Dead? Oh, very much so, sir. Yes, it was like a storm had hit them, sir. Rivers of blood. Oh, uprooted trees. Indeed, you have yourself a warrior. A true warrior. Surely then, I am a fool. A fool? To give half of my land. And the daughter. That too. Half of my land and all my daughter to a man who scares me. I tell you, someone is laughing at me. I haven't heard the thing, sir. Fool. Bring the warrior hither. Let's see what 
kind of hero emerges in the face of a darker beast? I will not part with half my land. And daughter, sir. And that. <laughs> because the warrior will die. Bring forth the unicorn. Unicorn? <laughs> with a horn like a knife and speed like light. I want it alive. You're putting your luck, Mum. This is getting silly. Since when was this about luck? I can't throw stones at a unicorn. Then throw him your wit. <laughs> Word has it about town that you are looking for me. Show your face. Well, the king likes to send me fools, but not many are as gorgeous as you. Oh, I'm a big fan of this kind of piercing beauty, darling. In fact, I like to pierce it right through the heart. You, uh, fancy a ride? Great, a true knobhead. Oh, feisty too. I'll get so bored of the passive ones, you know. Well, I'll be sure to raise a toast to your preferences when I drink from your horn. Oh, is that so? How delightfully disgraceful. Do me a favour. Cut to the chase. Fast the unicorn! Oh, you harlot. What have you done? I can't see. What have I done? My head. I only stepped aside. You embedded yourself in a beautiful tree. Now, do I leave you here to starve and be mocked? Or do I take you home? The choice is, hmm, delicious. <laughs> and so the tailor returned to the king with the tethered unicorn in one hand and in the other, its treasured horn. Your Majesty, what did you do? Exactly as you asked. Now, your promise. Your daughter, your land. Warrior, I no longer doubt your strength. But now you test my patience. Perhaps. There is a wild boar in the forest causing mayhem to my herbaceous borders. You can take all my huntsmen. Once captured, the wedding feast begins. The huntsmen can stay. Tell them to starch their collars and polish their shoes. There's a party to prepare for. Here, there's something poisoning my air. Your air? Eh? Not used to sharing, Mr. Boar. Here, it's my forest. Who are you? I'm almost a tailor and almost a king. You? A king? Why, an address? I can be whoever I want to be. Sure, sure. And today, I'm your keeper. My keeper? Unless, of course, you can catch me first. And is that an order? Oh, oh, blimey. Here. Where are you taking me, you, you, you wild goose? To church. Church? Where are you? Look out the open window. Oh dear, you can't. You can run fast, but you can't jump high. Oh, you trickster. Oh, let me out. Unlock this door. Some huntsman will get you shortly. It's my wedding feast tonight, and I'd hate for you to miss it. You chameleon. Hog roast. <laughs> now, Your Majesty. Give me what I'm due. Hey! Hey! Cheers! cheers, cheers, cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, forgive me for forcing a pause in the night's revelry. In such hard times, it pleases me deeply to still be able to lay out a banquet of such splendour. Have it been known that I want everybody to leave here rotund and Legless. <laughs> <laughs> so please, 
raise a glass to forgetting everything this evening has to offer. Because although tonight may be a celebration for some, for me it is a severance. Tonight I lose a daughter. Nothing prepares a man for this. So finally a toast to the young queen and her new beloved warrior. Her warrior! So the tailor and the young queen started their life together and all was well until the tailor started to weave tales aloud in his sleep. The story needs to end now. It must be nearly over. Mum, please, I have too much to do tomorrow. Buttons to sew and lace to make. I think tiredness is just a part of me now. If I could just get some sleep. The dress, the hem, change the bobbin. I just need to finish the dress. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. The young queen lay awake. Lace, hems, and the tailor was undone. Father, you gave me to a tailor. It's not possible. That so-called warrior, in the safety of his sleep, speaks to his mother. He is not a hero. His mother? As a tailor, he should have made my veil, not lifted it. (laughs) Please, do not cry. Tonight you must leave your door unlocked. When my servants are sure he is asleep, they will bind him with rope and abandon him at sea. As he is now free of his lie, you will soon be free of him. But what the king had not counted on was loyalty to the other. Psst. Huh? Psst. Here. What is it, friend? Sir, I know that it is not my place to counsel you. I tend to your armour and your swords, and my opinion does not matter. But I could not help but eavesdrop on a conversation that worries me deeply. Your young wife, sir, she thinks you are a fraud. Tonight, the king's men will wait outside your door. They have plans to... Tie him up, gag him, throw him to sea. I fear you must leave. He has grown far too powerful. He must die. Leave? That will not be necessary. But thank you for your honesty. My pleasure, sir. That night, the tailor went to sleep as normal. Good night, my sweet. Good night, my warrior. And that night, the tailor spoke as normal as if in vivid dreams. Again, he speaks. Needle eyes and silkworms. I am so tired. What is that, Mum? I must finish the dress. Weave the cloth. Faster, you say. And better. Oh, but Mother, do you think I am scared of you? I, who have killed seven with one blow. Murdered, mutilated and humiliated giants, unicorns and boars. Do you really think that I would care who is outside my door? This warrior's body as bait for sharks. Let them try. Just let them try. Are you awake? Did you hear that? What? Nothing. I must be dreaming. I thought I just heard the sound of a unicorn. Good night. And so it was. The tailor kept his life and kept his lie. And that's the end of the story. Time to come home and go to bed. No. No? I'm not coming home. What do you mean? I prefer it here. In the story? I've outgrown that room. But you have to come home. It's not safe. We'll look after you without a job. How will you eat? How will you live? I'll find a way. I'll use my wit. The 
Brave Little Taylor was recorded live in the Dorfman Hub at the Roundhouse in Camden, London on the 5th of December 2011 for Roundhouse Radio in collaboration with the Wireless Theatre Company. Written by Neela Dolzalova. Directed by Emma Playford. With Maggie Robson as Mother, Giant, King. Nahel Zegay as the girl, Taylor. Matthew Dewar as Wanderer One, Soldier One, Giant One, Knight One, Unicorn and Wild Boar. Beth and Clark as Wanderer Two, Soldier Two, Giant Two, Knight Two, Young Queen and Armour Bearer. Music composed and performed by James Rose. Produced by Alexander Mee and Marielle Ranaker Temple. Sound design by Tashari King and recording by Matt Blair and Malcolm Thorpe. Visit roundhouse.org forward slash radio and wireless theatre company.co.uk for more audio entertainment. <laughs>